first day of school again you guys are probably gonna see another one of these like in a couple weeks it's it's 5 25 right now and it is my first day of my new school i just washed my face and stuff and um brushed my teeth and everything i need to put my bands back in for my braces but i've been breaking out really bad well not really bad like i've had worse breakouts to be honest but I've been getting like fungal acne and like little acne on my forehead and it's really bugging me because it's like one of the only things you can see under my mask so why does that have to be big enough? I'm going to a new school that's a lot closer because like you guys know I literally was waking up like at 4 o'clock in the morning and I'm waking up a whole hour later I don't even have to wake up this early but today we wanted to go to Starbucks and plus it's the first day so I kind of and we need to get my boyfriend's schedule so we don't even I don't even have to wake up this early at 5 25 or whatever but I am I woke up at 4 55 I did I always set my alarm for like earlier so that I can go back to bed and wake up again like I give myself like five extra minutes to sleep but um yeah I'm going to school and it's like 15 minutes away which is like nothing compared to the freaking an hour and 15 minutes we were driving to get to school that only lasted about a week because I couldn't do it anymore I've never been like the new kid in school I've never moved schools I went to one elementary school then all my friends from the elementary school we all went to the same middle school and then most of my friends from that school you know we all went to the same high school so it's like i've never had to move any school so it's very stressful for me especially my junior year you know it's supposed to be the hardest year in high school and i'm gonna switch schools twice because i'm going to a school guys but they didn't let me enroll in the school that i actually wanted to go to i had to do a transfer so i had to go to this one and transfer so i am going to this school and they said they're gonna have to take two weeks to review my like you know whatever my transcripts and everything and they could accept me into that school but they're like they're kind of full so they might not be able to accept me right away because the program the medical program is full but you know the the guy said he would try finding space for me somewhere so better look hard um and i'm really like upset because i had a lot of plans for myself and i needed to stay there all four years my like talking about my school like far away i had to be there all four years in order to like accomplish those things but i'm not going to be so it's kind of disappointing but what can i do about it you know you just gotta except life sometimes I'm super nervous but like the nerves have not kicked in yet but like in my like a couple weeks ago in my last video i was like i'm not even nervous like i remember it being more exciting but the nerves hit in like on my way to school but i honestly don't know how my nerves are gonna be because i don't know anybody at that school so it's not like you know i'm nervous in that way because you know I would be nervous to like see people that I haven't seen in a long time and like excited but like for like my last back to school video but like now like what am I supposed to be like you know my boyfriend is transferring with me um if I didn't already mention that so we get to be the new kids together he is used to being the new kid he moved last like freshman year to my school from like an hour away <clears throat> but i've never been a new kid so i'm kind of nervous um, i literally concealed hairs on this eyebrow and this eyebrow is so much thinner than this one so i made it even thinner but whatever you know whatever omg this eyebrow is so much thinner i cannot should i just wipe them off and start all over again Yeah, this eyebrow is too thin. Like, look at that. I got my makeup eraser. Honestly, I wish I didn't even have to do my eyebrows. Like, I used to do so much more for my eyebrows, and I could barely, like, do what I need to do now. Because it's just so much work. Like, you know how, like, new girls and new, like, 
that guys at school are like you know they're like oh have you seen them like i don't know like at my school personally when we've had like new kids it's always like they're the center of attention and since people haven't really seen them before they're kind of like a lot of people are paying attention to them you know like a lot of people are talking about them like when i had like new kids come to my school and transfer you know that's how it was like Oh my god, have you seen the new girl? Blah, blah, blah. Oh my god, I did it again. I'm so fed up with this eyebrow. 5.45 right now, and my boyfriend's gonna leave his house at 6.20 to get here like at 6.50-ish. So I have an hour. I have an hour to do my whole makeup and my whole hair. So we'll see. I wanted to do like a little brown eyeliner. My my eyelashes always cover my eyeliner, but I love to do eyeliner anyway. So if I can find my eyeliner. I'm like wearing like a full face of makeup to school, and if I'm like the new girl wearing a full face of makeup to school, it's like people are gonna be like, "Oh my gosh, she tries too hard," or like, "What the hell?" Like the new girl thinks she's all that. Like. I'm just thinking of all the things that they could possibly say about me. So then once they say something about me, it doesn't hurt my feelings. Looks okay, I guess. What is that? Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work out for me. This looks terrible. My lashes are probably gonna cover anyways and I really don't have time. But we're gonna keep going on with our lives and you know, today's gonna be a good day. So we're not gonna worry. For those of you guys that were asking, I'm using the Pretty Fresh Foundation, the Hyaluronic Foundation, and mine is in the shade Light 45W, and it is so good. Literally, it is so good. Like, it's like your skin, but better. It's not super full coverage, which I don't really want full coverage anymore because, you know, I used to like full coverage back when I had really, like, bad acne. But now, like, I'm fine with light coverage. Like, just kind of like a my cream my my skin but better not my cream like a my skin but better type of thing. So I'm using the Born This Way concealer in 03. I don't know how to say it, so I'm not even gonna try. But I'm also gonna use. I don't know if I want to use the Kylie one or the Milk one because these are way too light for me. Both of them are. I'm going to use the Kylie one because my powder, I love the Wet n Wild powder. Don't even get me wrong. I literally love it so much. But it kind of, like for being translucent, it kind of makes my, like it's kind of a little bit darker. Like it has like a darker tint to it, not like not clear or whatever, or like translucent. So I'm going to try using like a really, really, really bright concealer like a really bright concealer to brighten up my eyes so that when i put the powder on it it doesn't like you know it dials it down but when i put like a regular brightening concealer you know it dials it down to the point where it's not even brightening under my eyes anymore too much i'm keeping my forehead minimal because i don't know if it's just me but like my forehead out of everything besides my nose my forehead is what gets the worst like my mask proof makeup honestly it's a good technique and i do do it but it usually always works so good for me but at school i'm sorry but it did not really it worked good but not as good as it does when i wear other places because i feel like at school it's just so hot and i'm sweating and i'm walking a lot and like it's really hot because we don't have air conditioning it's 607 and i have till 650 so i'm feeling pretty good about my time i guess ish a little bit I'm using the fenty beauty bronzer in in the sun then for blush i'm gonna use this blush in 
close to perfect. It's like really pretty and it kind of like blends in with my bronzer really good. Like it doesn't look like too crazy. It looks more natural. Hold on. I have an hour and I still have to do my hair. I forgot I had to do my hair. OMG. Now I'm gonna set in place with some crease the most. Blush. I don't contour my nose anymore because there's literally no point. It gets everywhere. I've been focusing on more putting my like blush and contour out this side of my face and not really towards the center. And I feel like it's kind of cute. I don't know. It's whatever. I'm gonna use the Becca highlighter in Champagne Pop because I feel like it's a really like if you only use a little bit, it's a pretty like natural glow or whatever. I usually have my mask laying around like right here, still covering my nose obviously, but you know you can see like this part of my face. Um, so I really like putting this highlight down the middle, even if I'm not contouring, just to kind of you know. Um, make it look like I have a slimmer nose just because the highlights there if that makes sense so I'm using color I'm using the ColourPop um, Flexcatarian of course I and mean, then on top of Flexcatarian I like to use for like my nose and my um, inner corner I like to use Fenty Diamond Bomb because it's like literally the cherry on top Guys, I'm so sorry. I have a really bad habit of licking my lips, and I literally realized that by rewatching all my videos. I lick my lips so much, it's crazy. I'm surprised more people don't hit on that about me because I literally lick my lips so much, it gets on my own nerves. But it's a problem. That's why I always have to wear lipstick because when I wear lipstick, I don't lick my lips as often. And if I do, it's not like, you know, really like a lot, if that makes sense. Like, there I go, I did it again. I don't know why I licked them, I just do. Like, it's just like a habit. It's kind of tastes nasty, so I'm keeping this on my lips. I don't, keep, I don't lick them. But, I forgot to do. Because we love a bright on our eyes so that we look very much awake. Oh my god, it literally sprayed so ugly, like messed up my makeup. I love that setting spray. But the way that it just messed up my makeup is not okay. I'm patting that into my skin. And then I'm doing powder again. My golden hug. I'm super excited to wear these lashes. I love this like collection. This is the Glamour Me Plastics collection. I have so many of these. Like I literally wore them so much to the point where they're either lost or broken. And when I tell you, like I've literally wore these like for months. And I recently got like three new pairs. So I've been dying to wear them, but I've been saving them for school because I needed new lashes for school. My eyelashes are really long and they kind of like go everywhere. I think I have like double layered lashes. So it's so hard doing like the eyeliner glue thing. And like it's all over my lashes. Times like this, I wish I had lashes that went straight down because this would make my life so much. Like look at how much lash glue. Can you see that? I don't think you can see, but I have like. much lash go everywhere these kind of flare out more that's why i wanted to do a winged eyeliner to kind of give myself that flared out cat look for all the times i messed up it came out all right it's currently 6 25 and i have 25 minutes to do my hair and get dressed and fill up my water bottle and make sure i have everything so I think stop recording but i'm gonna hurry up and do my hair off camera because i need to hurry up like literally so it's not okay um, I have 25 minutes to finish everything. So, 
I'm gonna do a really big fat chunk of my hair and I'm not gonna rush it too much because I want it to come out good. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Say good morning. Say good morning. <laughs> Say good morning. morning. See, I'm going to school. I'm gonna go to school. Let's go. We're gonna go. Ethan's, Ethan's naked. He has to get ready. Morning. I'm, I'm late. You're not late. You're early. Shirt from Zoffo. And then I'm wearing these jeans from Hollister. And then my sandals are from Target. That's my outfit. And I'm running a little bit late, but that's okay. My jewelry. My necklace is from Forever 21. This is for my boyfriend. My rings are from Forever 21. This one's for my boyfriend. And these are from, this one's from Shein. This one's from Forever 21. And this one's from Forever 21. My rings are from. Forever 21 or Target, I forgot. And then, yeah, so. Catch you guys later. So it's actually the next day and I'm not at school today because my transfer to the school I actually really wanna go to was approved. So, I'm recording this on my phone right now, so hopefully it's not that bad quality. I mean, I have like a better phone, so hopefully it does me justice. But, my transfer got approved, so I'm not going there. That was my first and last day there, thank God. But basically what happened was I got to school, right? And um, keep in mind that I had already asked somebody if the dress code was strict because somebody that I, that I had on social media went to that school. They're like, no, like they don't care. So I was like, okay, good. Plus it was like a hot, it's, I live where it's hotter. Uh, it's gonna be close to 100 degrees that day or yesterday. So, you know, I was still wearing a long sleeve, which I shouldn't have, I would, I should have worn a short, sleeve shirt anyways but you know i felt really good in that and i feel like you know i really would attract like friends based on how i dress and how i kind of present myself you know i was dressed really girly i looked really girly you know pink and light colors those are the type of people i want to attract to be my friends so that's how i was dressed and you know everything was fine but I walked into the office because the school is two stories so it was really really big and i was walking everywhere and i couldn't find my class so i went to the office obviously to ask for a map of the school so i knew exactly how it looked and because i knew where the office was because it was right when you walk in so i walk in and then i was like can i get a map of the school and she was like yeah but you can't wear that and I was like, oh, well, this is my first day. Like, I didn't know the dress code or anything. And she was like, yeah, you can't have that. She just kept saying, you can't have that. And it needs to have straps. And I was like, oh, okay, well, whatever. Like, I don't know what to say. She's like, she's like, stay here and I'm going to give you a shirt. And I was like, oh, well, I'm just, I can just go home and change. Like, I live pretty close. And she was like, don't worry, I'm going to give you a shirt. So she came over with the shirt and these other two ladies. And then, um... She went back to her, the first lady went back to her office chair. And then this other lady and these two other ladies were coming up to me. One was really nice. She was like, you know, you can wear my jacket. If you have a jacket over it, just covering your shoulders, it's fine. Just like make sure you bring it back to me tomorrow because it's my favorite jacket and it's pink. And I was like, girl, I am not going to wear your jacket. So basically the whole problem was with my shoulders and this specifically this they kept saying this you can't have all of this i'm sorry i'm a developed young woman what do you mean i can't have this like i don't understand right so the other that that's what the other lady was saying not the lady that said i can have her jacket she was being really nice she was being like okay but still you know if they really really were being good people they would have let me wear my non-shoulder shirt so basically the other lady that was with the one that get, offered me her jacket i'm sorry i don't know any other name so i can't really even like say anything but we'll just call them we'll call the first lady that i ever talked to thing one thing two the lady that gave me her jacket or that wanted to give me her jacket and thing three the other lady that was talking to me right so the other lady she was like yeah you can't have all of this you need to have straps and then the the thing too the one that was gonna give me her jacket was like yeah like it doesn't matter how thin they are you just need to have straps you can wear tank tops or whatever but they just need to have straps and i was like girl what like then what's the point like my backpack is covered i didn't say any of this obviously because i really didn't want to give them time of day but you know my backpack straps were literally on 
if that little bit of my shoulder bothers you like what do you want me to do and so they kept just saying i needed to have straps that was their main concern was with my straps which i was like okay whatever um because i was just like my my school let me wear that before so how was i supposed to know they're like oh the handbook is online i was like i literally was looking for the handbook online and i couldn't find it to see what the dress code was but whatever um dress but it is so sexist and it degrades women we are not objects for you to look at my shoulder straps or not shoulder straps do not affect the way i process any educational information i will still learn the same and nobody else cares what i am wearing and if they do then they have a whole nother issue but i go there to learn and you made me go home and change and took time out of my educational day and missed my whole first period because my shoulder straps were not there and they were gone and i didn't have shoulder straps or whatever all of this per the as they say so um then she was like saying that oh i can give you these shirts they're clean i was like girl and you are what if they what if they're not clean how am i supposed to know i'm not wearing those like literally like i you know i feel confident when i'm wearing i didn't say this obviously because you know i really wasn't trying to make it a bigger deal than it was but i was so frustrated so i was just quiet and i was like you know saying stuff but then i opened my mouth and i was like can i ask you why this is a problem and they're like it's just school policy and i was like but who does it affect like what like what's the problem with it and she was like it's school policy and I, she just kept saying it's school policy but she would never she wouldn't give me an answer i was so fed up i wasn't about to go all feminist on them because they're stupid and they're ignorant ladies old hags so i i went to the other side of the office and i was like i'm gonna call my mom and there and then this other lady this blonde haired lady yeah so she was in the front of the office right and she was like she put her two cents in nobody was even asking her but she was like oh i didn't know we were giving free passes to go home when you violate dress code or some something stupid along those lines and i was like i'm not going home I'm gonna go home and change and I'll be right back and so I called my mom and you know she was kind of mad at me because she's like you know like what are you thinking but I was like you know it wasn't it's just off the shoulder shirt basically my mom let me go home to change so um my boyfriend was dealing with his schedule because he hasn't got a schedule yet so they're taking a long time so he ended up just taking me home by the time we got back there anyways they still didn't have a schedule ready for him but he so he took me and um the lady was just being really rude they were all being really rude and they were frustrating me a lot i can't remember every like i'm not gonna go through every single detail of everything that they said i'm just saying like the main parts and how they really just infuriated me and made me super upset because you know the ladies were just saying that i couldn't i couldn't have all of this and that i needed to have straps like i don't understand what the problem was like i guarantee you somebody who was skinnier and didn't have all of this wouldn't get dress coded for wearing exactly what i wore and walking into school i seen multiple people wearing shorts that were literally cut right under their butt tank tops tube tops you know they were wearing all of the above and nobody drill was dress coding them and obviously they've been at school already for a month so they understand what they can and cannot wear and then once i got dress coded before i went home um, my boyfriend was still up there so i had to wait for him and they told me to go home and the office was right there i didn't want them to see me and i was so stressed out i didn't know where to go you know the school is so big and my boyfriend was like go to a bathroom or something and i was like i don't know where the bathrooms are like i didn't know where anything was i didn't know anybody there it was such a big school it was so overwhelming so i literally just stood in the center of the front of the school and was just crying and people were coming in and i was literally just there crying uh, I literally, I literally left, like, I didn't say anything to her, and she was, like, kind of making, not making jokes with me, but, like, saying, like, thank you, and, um, like, once you come back, check in, and basically just saying, like, I don't even know what she was saying, but I just walked out, like, I literally didn't say anything to her, I didn't say thank you, I didn't say why, I just left, I was, like, so over it, so she gave me my slip, we left, I went to go change, I literally wore, like, a long sleeve, I don't really have that many shirts that are not cropped, because, you know, that's, the style or whatever and that's what i personally feel confident in so that's what i wear you know that's what i have so 
um i had to wear a long sleeve because most of my short sleeve shirts are cropped well all of my short sleeve shirts are cropped and i only have long sleeve shirts that are not cropped or jackets so i just changed into a shirt because i a long sleeve shirt because i wasn't gonna wear a jacket over what i was already wearing or whatever the case was because i wasn't gonna deal with them and you know i did i just needed to hurry up and go so i changed and we went back and i gave her my slip and she's like look who's back <laughs> i literally kept a straight face like i literally i felt so wrong the way i was acting towards them but it was all for good reason because i usually am always a person who lets myself get ran over and who is such a people pleaser so this is one of my first times that i did not take stuff from nobody and i wasn't about to like joke around with her because you know she was being really rude the lady that the lady that had the blonde hair that was like i didn't know we were giving free passes to people who violate dress code or blah 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 and she had like no type of like she was being so rude but she had, like bipolar disorder or something because she was being nice when i left and then she was like being okay when i came back and then she was like I was like, can I get a map? And she's like, yeah. And then after that, I got my map. And she was like, oh, like, eh, like have a good day. And blah, blah, blah. And I literally, like, mid-sentence, I left. Like, mid-sentence, the door slammed in her face. Because I was not going to have her talking to me. I was already mad. So, basically, oh, I forgot to mention, after she sent me out, my boyfriend was still upstairs getting his schedule made for him with this really, really nice counselor lady um who said that she was sorry that i got dress coded and that i shouldn't have and she literally like she felt bad because she was like yeah that shouldn't have happened and um basically anyway so my phone's being so annoying but basically to cut this story short i asked other people and they literally said that they don't care about dress code or anything and uh, that that was weird and that all those girls in there are so mean so i know it wasn't just me it's just those girls in those outfits are so mean so get them fired just kidding but yeah so basically that's why i hated my first day of school and also everything else was just so you know overwhelming and just you know not knowing anybody and most of my teachers put me in chairs by myself and i didn't know anything about what they were learning so it was just really hard for me because i've already been there for a month and i was just there for my first day so it was just really like i've never had to go through that and i just miss my old school so much so it's just super emotional for me but so I think I can do about it, so yeah.